Hey Capricorns, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for November 2020. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. Feel free to flip the rows and put them where they go. Guys, this is a general read, so it won't resonate for every Capricorn on the planet. Be sure to keep what resonates in your life and check what doesn't, okay? Um, if uh, the messages do resonate for you, my beautifully abundant Capricorns, can you give me the like, the comment, the subscribe, or the share? And if you're interested in looking at me for a private read, my email information will be provided in the description box below. All right, Capricorns, we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to see what messages uh, Spirit has for you in love. Guys, again, the readings are intended to be about love, but it could resonate in other areas of your life, such as work, family, or friends. It could be happening to you or someone in your vicinity. Just put it where it goes, okay? If it doesn't resonate, don't keep it, all right? For my beautiful Capricorns in love for November 2020, Spirit, make the messages plain for me. Give messages for Capricorn, Spirit. Take time to breathe out. Disseminate the moon. Okay, Capricorn, some of you could be definitely working too hard, okay? For some of you, there's a situation that could definitely be stressing you out. And the spirit is saying, just take the time to breathe out. I'm feeling hot. I just felt something like knock me up top of the head, Capricorn. So some of you could have definitely had a situation where there was some tempers flaring. Yep, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. There could definitely been a situation with an Aries or an air sign here. But spirit is saying, take the time. To breathe out, it could have been a fire. It could have uh, something fiery could have definitely happened, or there's some there's a fiery climax approaching to something here. Okay, put it where it goes. Give me more for Capricorn. <laughs> One more for Capricorn. Oh, expect powerful change. Okay, it was underneath the deck. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. You could be dealing with the fixed sign. That's Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus. But the cards are saying take time to breathe out. I feel like there's a situation that could be pretty hot and heavy here. There could be some sort of heavy exchange or heated exchange or something that's stressing you out. Some of you could definitely be working too hard here. But there is a fiery climax approaching. You could definitely be dealing with an Aries. And there is a powerful change coming in a situation here, okay? Spirit is saying hold on to your vision. Yeah, and then another Aries card under here. Time to take action. So, so there could definitely be a situation that's stressing you out that you're needing to take action with, that you're needing to change. Okay, a fiery climax is definitely some sort of something is definitely coming to a head here. Okay, the spirit is telling you to hold your vision. You could definitely be dealing with the fixed sign, but there is there is definitely something here about holding your vision, but also expecting some sort of powerful change. Now put that where that goes. Okay, so there, there could be a powerful change coming to a situation because somebody could just be holding their vision and 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 not changing. Okay, and that could be bringing in a fiery climax. But someone is definitely need to take a moment to breathe out because I feel like whatever the situation is, there's something here that could definitely be getting ready to boil over. All right, Capricorn? But I'm going to go ahead and clarify again, guys, if the messages resonate, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Why well, take time to breathe out here for the beautiful Capricorns and love for November 2020? Make it plain for me. Why well, is take time to breathe out for the beautiful Capricorns? Here, Spirit, make it plain. Peace, love, light, and clarity for Capricorns imprisonment oh yeah okay so i feel like there's definitely something going on for some of you there could definitely be a situation where someone is in literal jail here house but for others of the others of you not so much there could definitely be a situation that's going on inside a home here someone could definitely be feeling very trapped okay there is a situation that's causing someone to breathe out i feel like someone is definitely feeling trapped and cornered in some sort of way someone is feeling cornered in some sort of way here Capricorn, if they're not physically in jail, they're feeling trapped in corner. It definitely has something to do with the home situation here, okay? Spirit is calling for someone to take time to breathe out. Why is a fiery climax approach uh, approaches here for Capricorn? Okay. Why is a fiery climax approaches? Some of you could say there could definitely be a situation with a house where someone is in a hurry to to leave or move or something like that or there's a situation that's going on in the house <laughs> but there's a fiery climax approaching why is this here for capricorns and love for november 2020 make it plain for me spirit okay <laughs> Wealthy man and family room. I do feel like this is definitely a situation with either a, a, either a home or, or a union. This could definitely be a marriage. Someone, like I said, someone could definitely be separated 
for whatever reason with something concerning the house someone could definitely be feeling in prison or trapped in a home situation there's a wealthy man involved here in a family room and a false person could possibly be involved here okay what's under here and there's a main female here put it where it goes but there's a fiery climax coming to this capricorn why does expect powerful change here for my beautiful capricorns Lovers, you could be dealing with the Gemini, but there is a powerful change and a, and, and a connection, a deep connection that you share with someone. This, this, this could definitely be a deep, deepen up, deepening of a connection. Okay, there's a message coming in about this Capricorn. Mm. This is how I'm seeing it. If it resonates, it resonates. I'm gonna go ahead and clarify again, guys. If the messages make sense, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's definitely a wealthy man involved here. You could be, you want, you Capricorn, for some of you, you had a distance from this wealthy man. He could be definitely trapped in a situation with another family, put it where it goes, or with the family where, where he's feeling trapped and he's needing to take the time to breathe out. But there's a fiery climax approaching to this. There's definitely a deepening of a connection here. There's definitely someone who's holding on to their vision, and there's messages coming in about this. Someone is definitely just having to take a moment, okay? Someone could definitely be trapped in, like, I feel like for some of you could definitely be, yeah, there's definitely a situation about a home or a house or a family situation here. I definitely feel that. But let's see. My beautiful Capricorns in love for November 2020. Make it plain for me. The Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy. This You could be dealing with the Aries or Taurus, but this is definitely Divine Masculine Energy here, okay? He could definitely be very wounded here and feeling trapped here. He could be working too hard. He could be definitely working really hard and trapped by work. He's definitely, you know, he could be needing time to take, to breathe out. Someone could have definitely, again, went to physical jail here because the emperor is here. That could be a judge or a lawyer. Give me one for Capricorn here. And love for November 2020. Make it plain for me, spirit. Peace, love, light, and clarity. My beautiful Capricorns. That's too many, too many, too many. <laughs> for Capricorns and love. Let's see where this is going. Seven of Pentacles. So there is something about waiting to reap some sort of harvest, waiting to get some sort of um, reward here, some sort of investment. There's a wealthy man here. There's a divine masculine energy here. This could definitely be a boss or a, bit, or a business owner. He could definitely about a, there's definitely an energy of a masculine waiting to get some sort of investment here. He could definitely be working too hard and needing to take a time out from that. He could definitely be trapped in a situation with, with family or a home. But there's something that he's waiting on here, and it has something to do with the Seven of Pentacles. It's something about home stability, something about the three, his 3D, his finances, or something to that effect. Give me more for Capricorn. And love for November 2020. Make it plain for me. Give me more. The Magician. You could be dealing with the Gemini or Virgo. Yeah, there's something he's manifesting here, okay? There's definitely some sort of investment that's getting ready to... uh pay off here okay there's definitely some sort of investment that's getting ready to pay off there's something that someone's manifesting here it could definitely be a virgo or a gemini involved here give me more for capricorn there's getting ready to be a powerful change here between yeah two of wands yep there's something here about going in a new, there's something here about going in a new direction here give me one more for capricorns in love November 2020. There's a, so you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag. I have, I have a, a masculine energy here. There's something definitely about waiting. On, yeah, nine of cups. Something about waiting on. It goes from the nine to the ten. Yeah, this is going. This is great. And what's under here? The nine of pentacles. So here's my Beyonce. There's a single, solid, stable, abundant woman here. Yeah, she's the star. She could definitely be the apple of this man's eye. This man's wish fulfillment here. But this is about having some sort of dream come true. Having hope. Having faith. And it's about the Six of Swords. It's about moving forward, either literally moving or moving to calmer waters or moving on here, okay? I believe it's moving, yeah, yeah it's moving to calmer waters or coming together because there's a Seven of Cups here. I feel like there's some sort of options or illusions or some confusion that's getting ready to clear up because someone is needing to take a time to breathe out because they're feeling very trapped, okay? It goes straight to the Empress, which is Divine Feminine Energy, okay? I feel like there's some there's some sort of healing getting ready to go happen between these energies. See, here's the five of wands, and then here's the four of wands. It has something to do with the home or some sort of um, 
some sort of divine connection here. There's some sort of dream coming true happening here. And I know it because the last two cards that came out was a nine and ten of cups. You definitely could be dealing with the water sign. But there's something about a masculine energy here that's manifesting some sort of wish fulfillment or dream come true with a woman who's already solid and stable and abundant in her own right. Okay. This is what I'm picking up, guys. Just put it where it goes. Apparently, there's a message coming in <laughs> about it because I'm looking at message here. But there's definitely an energy of someone definitely need just need to take a moment to breathe out. For some of you guys, you need to take a moment to breathe out because he's working too hard. Man, Capricorn man, if this is you, you should know exactly where this is going. He's feeling trapped because he's working too hard. And he's needing a moment to breathe out. He could definitely be feeling trapped in another situation with a home and a family. I definitely feel like there's an energy of something about a home here or a divine connection that he could be waiting to get in. He could be waiting to invest in because there's definitely a powerful change coming in a connection here. You could definitely be dealing with the Gemini. Why is the Taurus here? Why is the Emperor here? Sorry for Capricorns. Why is the Emperor here for Capricorns in love for November 2020? Why is the emperor here? The king of swords, the nine of swords, and the hangman. What did I tell you? You could be dealing with the Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But there's a masculine energy here. I feel like he's feeling kind of stuck and he's stressed out and worried about something. The king of swords. There's something he's needing to figure out. I feel like he's needing to take time to breathe out. And there's the ten of swords. There's the ending. There's figuring it out. Okay. Yeah, and there's and it's next to my seven of pentacles, which I already have, and the magician next to it. I love when my cards do this, okay? I love when they do this because here's the seven of pentacles and the magician right here, right? Okay, let's go, Capricorns. So you could definitely be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini. There's something about him waiting to reap some sort of harvest or waiting to get some sort of investment or having to review something. He's definitely feeling trapped and needing to take a moment to breathe out. It, look like, it looks like he's doing it, okay? Yep. There's definitely a missed opportunity that he wants to have with the Queen of Swords under here, a, a cold feminine energy. Let's go. <laughs> a, a feminine that he wants to speak the truth to or something of this effect here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for my beautiful Capricorns? Make it plain for me. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Ace of Cups. Yeah, because there's new love. There's a new beginning. Whether this is new love or renewed love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, the moon. It could definitely be with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But there is an energy here of the unknown. There could be some stress, worries, and fears about this unknown. He could this It's something that he's waiting on to bring in this Ace of Cups, but there's stress, fears, and worries behind it, or is there, is there something kind of unknown about it, and that could be what's stressing them out. It does have something to do with some sort of ending and new beginning in the world. Again, you could definitely be dealing with the fixed sign, but an ending, a transformation, and a lesson being learned. Yeah, this is a family situation dealing with the home, and abundance, a soul tribe. Yeah. Why is the magician here for Capricorn? In love for November 2020, spirit, make it plain for me, for my beautiful Capricorns. Again, some of you definitely dealing with the Virgo or Gemini, but this is definitely someone manifesting, okay? It's getting ready to make some things happen. Temperance, you could definitely be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this is patience and divine time, and someone is definitely working on something, and it has something to do with this ending, the world, a cycle closing out, a lesson being learned. For, for some people, there's this, there's this physically moving. Someone could be trapped in one house and wanting to move to another one, okay? But there's a cycle closing now here and a lesson being learned. Why is the Nine of Wands here? I mean, the Two of Wands. Sorry, the Two of Wands here for Capricorn. That's the intention going forward. <laughs> the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. There's that masculine energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Four of Wands is that definite divine union. And, and, and I feel like this is him getting himself together to make this move and then here's the Wheel of Fortune. You definitely could be dealing with the Sag, but this is something about fate, something about destiny and fate. Maybe, maybe wrapping up some karmic cycles here. Yep, the hermit. You definitely could be dealing with the Virgo, but this is someone who's done some deep introspection, okay? And it has something to do with the family or a home that's involved with this. Okay, I'm going to clarify you guys. It's nine and ten of cups, and then I'm out of here again. If it's resonating, give me the like, comment, the subscribe, and a share. And if you're interested in booking me, my email information is provided. Why is the nine of cups here? The nine and ten of cups here for Capricorns and love for November 2020. Make it plain for me, spirit. The tower. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio. But there is some sort of boom coming to this entire situation. But apparently, it's bringing in some self-love, some wish fulfillment, and some 
Again, for some of you, this could definitely be the boom of someone leaving a home situation, but there's a new beginning happening, the Ace of Wands. There's some sort of new happy situation, a new beginning coming here. Yeah, Knight of Swords. After, after clearing some sort of energy here about this imprisonment or this delay or this investment, okay? But this is how I'm seeing it, Capricorns. Again, if it resonates, give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. I thank you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. I thank, I thank you guys for sending all the love. If Again, if it resonates, make sure to send me that like. I'll bring you guys messages really soon. Continue to take care of yourselves, you beautiful devils, you. Bye, Cappies.